this is how much power LeBron James has over any team that he gets on. The link for this video will be in the description. So, the Laker fans react to Ty Lu being expected to be named the new Lakers head coach after Monty Williams decided to take Sun's coaching job. <laughs> and this is crazy. This afternoon, ESPN dropped a pair of bombs when they revealed that Sixers assistant Monty Williams was bowing out from the Lakers job and had decided to become the next head coach of the Phoenix Suns. The expectation is the Lakers will move Ty Lu as head coach, but there has been no offer made to him yet. As a result of Williams' decision, Ty Lu was set to become the Lakers' next coach. Let's just say the Laker fans wasn't too thrilled. And me, I'm a Laker fan. Um, no matter how good the Clippers are, they would never be the Lakers. Uh, and that goes for Golden State, too. I'm, a, I'm also, you know, I, I like all three of these teams because I'm a pro Cali ball. But they got to hang some banners. You got 16 banners with the Lakers. You got to get like that. I don't care what organization you are. But anyways, the Lakers, Ty Lu. this is what people are talking about. Get ready, Laker fans. Here's a tweet from Tim Lysecombe. That's Ty Lu saying, I have no idea what I'm doing, which are facts. <laughs> and here's another tweet. Uh, that's CJ from... Grand Theft Auto. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Here's another tweet. We all saw that picture plenty of times last week. The James Harden red eye, like he's very sad. <laughs> so here's another tweet. First take. And here's another tweet. You see what that says. Losers. <clears throat> Here's a tweet from Ray. I have no opinion, pro or con, regarding the Los Angeles Lakers, but I think their best chance of fixing the franchise may. Many dysfunctions is if every coaching candidate on the planet declines. Any offer they make, including interviews. I mean, Monty Williams chose Robert Saver. Savar. Now look at this, man. Um, <laughs> LeBron James is, is just... We all know he's telling the head office of the Lakers what he wants and who he could play with, pretty much who he could tell what to do. <clears throat> we all know he was telling Ty, Ty Lu what to do in Cleveland, and <clears throat> if Ty Lu agrees to the offer, he will be telling Ty Lu what to do in L.A. This is something that Doc Rivers, who I personally thought was the best candidate to bring the Lakers back to what they used to be because Doc Rivers is an OG um, and he believes in the winning mentality and you, you know is somebody who I don't think will take LeBron James shit LeBron James in my opinion he has to run things even when he was in Miami with Eric as his coach um he basically ran that show, man. Yeah, he did. Every time you won rings, he ran the entire show. Now, with Ty Lu coming, will this change that team? I don't think not a whole lot. The only way the Lakers are looking to be a dominant force if they get the claw, which is Leonard, and they get A.D., because I don't think there's no way in hell KD coming over there. And then if they if he get those two players, it wouldn't matter who coaching them because they will be coaching their damn selves and they will be winning probably every other game or every game. Yeah. But this is just like the – with Ty Lue there, it would have me feeling just like the damn Cav Cavaliers two years ago. <laughs> this, unless they get those players I just mentioned. But what do you guys think about Ty Lue becoming the Lakers – Head coach. Just so much things going on. So many things in L.A. that's going on that got you going like, hmm, what the fuck? Like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe later.